I will put Dance of Seven Veils for 10 minutes. You have different types of paint here. There's some more paint brushes here. How it works? Um, we listen to the sound and then paint intuitively what we feel listening to Dance of Seven Veils of uh, Strauss. And then we're creating a digital pattern on the costume. First I did it myself, and then I'm giving you an opportunity to express yourself. So I painted with feet, and that's the painting in the back. I, I realized there's two different kind of sounds going on. So one, the higher tones were with silver and black, with um, um, lower tones, and then the choreography just just became itself through the music. Right. And what music are you using? Strauss, that's oh, the Strauss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I read all of the notes yeah. and just decided to um, to create a, like a script, director a script, and she would um, dance on her toes and here she would do big opening kind of movements. So I followed Strauss as he wrote it hundred years ago and tried to do a version of this century Solomon. It was really like, atmospheric. Yeah. So like kind of so did you, like, did you follow the music or I feel like I was following the music with like like brush <laughs> Yeah, cool. Like, I'm dancing to I can tell you that you could choose like one instrument and just and choose yeah. the instrument to do that. Do you think I should have more paint or is that enough? I think pain is enough. Yeah. Maybe is there anything you would see differently? Maybe more dishes? Well, he was going with the music. Yeah. I think what I found really interesting, you know, when you were doing the your movements, yeah. you were trying to sort of do Maybe, something. What are you doing? Yeah, do something with, with the shape of the that was projected on you. Yeah, exactly. So that was kind of a you were sort of improvising your dance with you. through the lights of the yeah through the projection. Yeah, I absolutely love it in the yellow. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so be, to begin with, I, I wanted something really bright, so that's why I put uh, yellow. Yeah. And then I wanted to sort of have like sharp lines. Uh, yeah, I, I love the fact that you're trying to interact with the various media. Uh, obviously, there was classic music that was giving me a rhythm. Yeah. But at the same time, I had the sense of what I wanted to paint because you were like a white canvas. Yeah. I mean, if you know a little bit about painting, you know that you have to put, paint the background first. You, you start with the light color. I mean, anyway, I also wanted to see how that was projected. I'm exploring the relationship between listening to music and expressing it. Because I feel like for me, the expression with the body and with painting is puts the emotions out. And every time I paint, I listen to the music. And I realized that, oh, there's a certain change when I listen to that kind of music or that kind of music in what I'm painting. But this very intimate experience of what music makes you feel. And then people can see that out of you. Yeah. So when you listen to these people... Yeah, I'll show you how it sounds. It's the classical music of Strauss. Yeah. And as it, you can do it so many times that you just figure out different instruments. So I went through all of the score and for me she never existed because she was so objective. She only exists through Strauss music. Because you didn't know the song. Yeah, I didn't know what she did. She did explain the song and I had that in mind. I had that for like the Valkyries or something quite like Obviously. dramatic. Yes, I could uh, guess the song by looking at the painting. It's quite nice because it's like three, three different people's like vision in a way. It's like the composer of the music, yeah. and then the person who's drawing, and then you dancing, and you're all interpreting something. It's true, yeah. I, I really like yeah, that. Yeah, so now I would like to have it with people playing instruments, actually, mm. and have them s sensors connected mm. to me. And when they play, it would come up on, on my costume. That could be amazing. Can you imagine a full orchestra or something? So where does this fit into the big wide world of the theatre? 
so it um, I say it as a costume uh, and scenery. scenery. Uh, so um, it could be a live performance of um, projection mapping while movement happens, um, and it's to music. So it fits to opera uh, for now. <laughs> I'm thinking it could fit to. Um, kind of a jazz performance because it's very um, um, kind of based on improvisation as well. Dance, movement, projection and maybe live painting as well.